Hey guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Joseph and in today's video, we are going to be dodging and burning with my action preset. So if you don't have my actions, you can look in the description box. I have a link to it. It's going to take you to my website and you're going to download my workflow actions. In there, I have a ton of actions, but we're going to be focusing on today is going to be the dodge and burn because I only want to dodge and burn this image for you guys to see. So starting off, I just want to go over and show you guys what I have done. So this is the raw image that I I imported into Photoshop. I created a blemish removal um, layer that also has an action. And then I worked on the nails on another blank layer. So you can see here's a before and after I fixed the nails and I run my frequency separation. Now what I want to do is run my dodge and burn and just make sure that I'm bringing all the structure back onto my subject. So what I'll do is just select the dodge and burn complete and I'll press play. So what it's going to do is it's just going to run all of the actions that have been scripted and create a brand new layer and put everything in a group so when i open the group you see that we have a contrast we have a desat and then we have our dodge and burn layers right here i'm going to start off with the dodge i'm going to click on the layer mask because it's set to black we don't see what that layer mask is going to do but when i press b for my brush tool come into my brush options and select the regular brush tool with a very high flow i want you guys to see exactly what happens on this layer so set your foreground to white and now when you paint you can see that you're beginning to reveal what is underneath that layer or what the layer mask is hiding so when i let go you can see that we have um, a white stroke against the black background if i press alt and click on the layer mask this is what i painted so everywhere that is white will show you um, the layer underneath and then everywhere that is black is not going to review whatever that you're painting so when i press alt and click on the layer mask again you see that we only have the review on this white area that we painted right all right so i'm going to go back and then fill this with black and now we can go in depth and then start uh, dodging what we need to dodge on the layer so I'm going to reduce my flow from 100 to about 2% and then we can start dodging and burning. So I'll just zoom in a little bit and now I can just focus on the areas that need dodging. So I'll just use my brush to paint over these areas just like that. In case you can't see what's happening, here's a before and after you can see that we are beginning to level the tonal variations in the image and that's all dodge and bend is about it's just about going through your image and looking for any tonal variations or inconsistencies and then using the layers to just blend everything back in so it's a bit uniform You really have to inspect your image to find out like what needs to be dodged and what needs to be burned and actually this even comes with practice so the more you do the more it will become second nature you'd easily be able to identify what needs dodging and what needs burning also you can just study other images that people have uploaded like maybe people that you look up to and look at the way their images look you'd be able to see how the tonal variations are how smooth the gradation from dark to light is and all those things those little little things that they do is what makes the image look really really well done some people also just prefer dodge and burn um, retouching they don't like to use frequency separation and I'm always saying this that for me I like to blend the two so you'd see that I have my frequency separation underneath if I didn't have that this is how the image looks but turning the frequency separation layer on you can see it's already done a lot of the heavy lifting for me so now I just need to pay attention to areas that the frequency separation couldn't um, cater to I'll use a dodge and bend to do that so currently all I'm doing is just dodging and very often I'll just be doing before and after when I press alt and click on the layer mask this is the painting that I have done so far of the dodging so we'll still go further and you know play with um, what needs to be dodged so I'll go to my contrast layer and I'll just open it up a little bit because the reason why it's here is just to allow me to see the image at different contrast levels and then fix any um, inconsistencies that I see at that point. All right. 
So selecting B again and going back to the dodge. At this level, what I'm doing is a micro dodge and bend because I'm almost focusing or targeting specific areas. I'm not doing a global dodge and bend, but I'll be doing that really soon. I just want to focus on um, this micro dodge and bend. All right, so I'm just going over with my brush and as you can see, I'm still just dodging and trying to level any tonal variations. I'll go back again to the curves, double click to bring it up and now I'll just darken it by increasing the contrast some more. Go back to dodge and now I can see that there's some that are looking a bit more visible. So I'll just go over those areas. All right, I'm gonna turn off the help layer for now. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit before, after. That looks pretty good. So I'll turn on my help layer again and I'm going to just, you know, put in a normal curve, not too contrasty, because I'm now going to start with a burning. All right, so I'm gonna select the burn layer and I'll just zoom in a little bit and now I'll just be inspecting and painting over areas that need to be burned. So over here like this, I just wanna darken this down. So I'm just going to burn that in. Come down to the bridge of the nose. Bend that also in. So I'm just going over the image and looking for what needs to be bent. And you can see I'm not being like very, very detailed here. I'm also not zooming in at 100% and focusing on the pores. I'm just at a, like a 70% view and just trying to, you know, add some depth and even the tonal variations at the same time. Right, so I'll show you what I've done. If I just press Alt and click on the burn layer, this is the burning I've done so far. And here's it before and after. All right, so I'll just keep on going and also varying my zoom um, levels, just trying to figure out what's going to work. Just like that, before after it's also very good to do before and afters very often so that you can easily figure out like maybe if you're going um, overboard or if you're not doing enough before and after is always good so you can see your progress and see what you're doing i'm going to go back into the contrast again and i'm going to open up the shadows even more and now i can just focus on you know areas like these and then just burn them in a little bit. I'll go back to the dodge and just dodge over here. Just a little bit. I'll go back to the burn. And now I'm going to burn this area in. Go for the dodge tool. So you can see you just go back and forth between dodging and burning until like a particular area that you've targeted has a smooth tonal variation. So the reason why I adjust my curves all the time to bring up different contrast levels is because some tonal variations may not be visible at a particular curve um, adjustment level. So you'd always have to vary it and then target all those different um, levels. So it's going to help you get like a very even looking image so i'll turn them off and here's a before and after i really really like the way it looks what i'll do now is just go back into my actions and i'll run my individual dodge and band layers and i'll just group them and then call it d and b I'm going to do a global dodge and burn here. I could have run the same action as before, but I just wanted to show you guys that you have that flexibility to pick and choose uh, between any of these. So I'll go to the dodge now and make my brush a little bigger and also increase the flow. And then just paint over the highlight areas like that. Basically everywhere that has like a highlight, I'm just going to go over those areas. All right, I'm going to move on into the burn and now I'll just go over the areas that need some burning. You can see I'm not trying to change what the makeup artist did. I'm just trying to enhance it. 
So here's a before and after. Before, after. You can see that we've added some structure to the image even more. Before, after. So just go to her right hand and also just bend in some areas. Just like that. I'll go to the dodge and now I'll just dodge some areas that need dodging. Just like that. All right, so here's a before and after. So let me hide both of them. So this is the first dodge and bend that we did. This is the second level of dodge and bend. I'm only going to group all of them so you guys can see the complete effect. So here's before dodge and bend as the micro and the global and then after the micro dodge and bend and the global dodge and bend i think this works really well for me i really like where the image is all right so that's it for today's video guys i hope you found this video helpful and i hope you learned a thing or two if you want to get my actions again they are down below click it it's going to take you to my website and you can download them and uh let me just quickly show you guys here's a total before and here's an after if I just show you the before and after of the dodge and burn, here is before and here is after. I'll catch you guys in the next video and remember, don't ever give up.